To keep it simple, the team could make the roof from two large sections that run on long sets of rails. But these roof panels would be heavy and take a long time to roll back. So Erlene's roof will be made up of eight smaller panels that run along 16 shorter rails. The panels, called petals, are made up of four massive steel frames. Each 450-ton petal sits on two rails. The inner rail is just like any rail track. Sets of wheels attached to the petal will allow it to roll smoothly on top of the rail. But this won't work for the outer rail. As the petal moves out over the bowl, the back would lift upward as the front tries to tip. So they will position the rear set of wheels underneath the outer rail. This locks the back of the petal into the stadium roof. As the petal slides along the roof, the wheels will roll beneath the outer rail to stop the petal from falling. Being creative in structural engineering is walking a very fine line. We have to figure out exactly where that fine line is. Up on the roof, the team lays the rails that will hold the petals. Good, everything's tied down, ready to go? Very nice. While down in the bowl... We don't have a shield on this side. Avery oversees the construction of the vast retractable roof petals. The petals are too big to be built and lifted onto the roof in one piece. So they're built in four sections. A heel that connects to the fixed roof two middle pieces, and the tip that slides out over the bowl. The bowl has become a massive factory, churning out petal sections. It's relentless. It, it never stops. This work site is crowned. As soon as a piece of petal is built, they must hoist it up into position on the roof to make way for the next one. Good over there. Oh, Lord, space. There's never enough space. As we built these things, these pedals, it's crucial that every lift continues to follow the next one. Otherwise, number one, you can't meet the schedule. Uh, and that's what this is all about, the schedule. Avery must hit his deadline. The stadium must be open in less than five months. It's critical that every piece of the roof is precisely the right shape and size. Oh my God. We're checking every measurement, making sure everything's lined up, because once you go up with it up in the air, you're stuck with it for days while you're trying to get it fit up. This size low. You need to come down one eight. The team gear up to lift one of the largest petal sections into place. You gotta come up seven sixteenths. And everything's looking pretty good. With a storm due to blow in tonight, they're keen to get moving fast. The weather has affected the schedule tremendously on this project. Just two weeks ago, we had four days of downtime just strictly for rain. When weather comes in, it shuts you down. A sudden gust could blow the petal off course causing it to crash into the stadium walls. There's a storm coming tonight, and you'll have high winds, a lot of rain, so it's imperative that we get everything tied in and safe before we uh, go home for the night. Adam Castle coordinates the team on the ground. All right, we're good. Once we pick it up, there's no putting it back down. Danny Banks provides the eyes and ears up on the roof. We do need to get it up in place, at least 50% bolted up before the weather does come in. There's an element of danger in everything. You get complacent, go to hang over an edge, slip, whatever the case may be, there's always something. Most of us are pretty well at looking after one another. Yeah, that's, 
the brotherhood of it. Heck, I spend more time with my partner out here than I do at home. So, they're, they're family. Let's go ahead and start cabling up. Nice and easy. Let it ride off this wood. It takes America's biggest crawler crane to help Adam's team hoist this roof section into place. Some of the iron workers call it the beast. Big boy or big red. They call it big red. Yeah. It's probably been called so many names that it's pathetic. But uh, it's been an awesome crane to have on this project. As the massive frame lifts off, uh, scaffolding is still tying it to the ground. Adam works fast to wrestle it free. Looking good, we'll let it ride off the end of this. Two ground crews grapple the structure with ropes to stop it swinging out of control as it rises. Hey, Gio, let off your side a little bit. Let's try to square this thing up a little more. The pitch looks real nice. But halfway up... We're already out of whack. The tug of war between the ground crews falls out of sync. You're fighting each other. You're just spinning this thing back and forth. Feed it through nice and easy. You don't have to pull on this thing. All right, hold that right there. Adam coordinates the two ground crews, bringing them back into sync. The team regain control, and the petal continues its ascent. Hey, Danny, you up there yet? On top of the roof, Danny and the iron workers wait to bolt the petal section into place as the storm approaches. As you're working in an elevated situation, wind gusts knock you off the iron, it's got its hazard. Construction workers that are up here, they're almost like mountaineers. They work at heights, uh, they have special training. Man, it's an adrenaline rush, but there ain't nothing that beats it. It's, it's the best thing in the world, man. It's a dangerous, scary lifestyle, man. But that's what you get paid for. I don't think I'd be a very good iron worker, no. <laughs> Your typical everyday iron worker does have a screw loose. <laughs> oh, it's all about glory. Cowboys in the sky, right? <laughs>